obviously being a Sooner Scoop, being a lifelong OU fan, family, you know, just mm-hmm. re- deeply rooted in OU, there had to be some moments where you were just like, how am I here? Like, how has this happened? Yeah, I mean, definitely like, uh, you know, developing relationships with coaches that, you know, Bob was, I was in eighth grade when Bob took over, or seventh grade when Bob took over. And, yeah. you know, I would never say that I have a close relationship with Bob as far as, uh, you know, like outside of work or anything like right. that. I, like, like somebody like a Kerry you know, Murdoch would or somebody. Yeah, like, like that with him, right? hey, <laughs> hey, believe me, if, if they want to send over some uh, some of the rock and roll, that right. I will try. But uh, you know, there there definitely were moments. You know, going down every Monday to uh, a press conference or yeah. just being on the field for the last seven years for every game doing video stuff. It's yeah. been quite a ride, especially you know when we do go to places that. Uh, to cover you, whether it be an Orange Bowl or a, you know a, a semifinal game or a Big Twelve championship game or just even doing like small little radio hits, it's been it's been crazy. And uh, you know I, I do think that like because I grew up an Oklahoma fan, I do understand like where a lot of people's passion yeah. comes from. But at the same time, it's you got to be professional about it, and you can't be the. I, I would never want to be labeled like the OU Homer guy that you know was going to pick OU to go thirteen and zero every right. year. They're going to go to the Final Four. They're going to go to the national championship. They're going to go to Omaha or Oklahoma yeah. City for softball. Uh, but you know, for what I do and for Sooner Scoop, when OU's winning, it's good for business. Like, right. be the, I'd be the first one to tell you that. And yeah. uh, you know, I, I, I have developed you know good relationships with people in Stillwater and Austin. And uh, so, from a professional standpoint, it's been a lot of fun. And from a personal standpoint, I mean. If yeah. you would have told That's eight-year-old Eddie dream, that, yeah. you know, when he's, his parents are, you know, dragging him in to go to a mid-90s game when you know they're going to get their ass kicked, yeah. it's uh, it's definitely turned turned a corner. So yeah. it's, it's been fun. I mean, I've been, been very thankful and blessed for everything that's come along the way and, you know, the future yeah. that's to come. Well, and you get to be like, to that point, you get to build relationships with guys, you know, when they're learning their craft, right? They're sure. learning everything. They're kind of earning their stripes I sure. guess and, and then they get drafted and then they go on to do amazing things I mean yeah, and there's from so like a, many from you know? a rival standpoint too with what we do with high school kids like I remember uh, you know Caleb Kelly's going to be a six year senior at OU this year Yeah, and I remember going out to California to cover him in high school so I've, I've known most of these kids and especially over the last you know eight or nine years yeah. everybody that's come through here I've seen in high school at least once or seen their videos in high school where we've gone and sent somebody from Sooner Scoop to uh, interview them. And, you know, yeah. it, it's incredible to see just like how wet, how far back it goes. And I feel very old yeah, yeah, talking yeah. about some of those guys. But, you know, seeing some AJP run in high school or, you know, uh, anybody that is, you know, Kyler or anybody that's gone off to do professional stuff, it's been kind of incredible yeah. to see just the development that they been able to go through and you know even some of the coaches that have come through yeah. here and now are doing their own thing it's really cool one of the one of the things that when Royce came on he was talking about was like we asked him um you know like who who won't speak to you or who doesn't like who you know building a reputation mm-hmm. and, and but I think it's totally different in college right because at NBA level or that elite level they don't have to answer your questions sure. and the questions can be pretty tough yeah but as i guess college you're just kids right so you for the most part a different questions yeah set. like you're probably not going after as many people from yeah. a college perspective because they are student athletes because they're there to get yeah. an education if right. you will uh so it is different uh you know you probably wouldn't go after uh you know lincoln riley the same way you would uh you know scott brooks from yeah. the back in the thunder days but uh you know at the same time i think there is a certain level of respect that a lot of people have for you know just kind of the way that you carry yourself and especially with how social media is because they can see everything and yeah. uh you know as much as they say that they don't uh you know they people see stuff they people see read stuff, stuff yeah. and uh you know vice versa i mean we hear stuff that you know that they would probably say about us so yeah. it's uh, it's cool in that regard but yeah you definitely probably don't have the uh, personal relationship like maybe a professional would mm-hmm. uh with a professional athlete as opposed to you know a, a kid that's in college yeah do you think like you being on social media and your twitter presence do you think that's helped you like with, with the kids and stuff because they think it's hilarious as well and yeah like, like you know some of the stuff that i would ask baker he knew was coming yeah and i mean he would it, if somebody else would ask it it probably wouldn't go over as smoothly uh or you know be able to joke around and I guess sometimes I take advantage of that, and sometimes yeah. it's probably not the best thing, but or for the right setting. But yeah. you kind of got to pick your spots and, and and know when you can get away with something and when you can't. Like yeah. you wouldn't ask it after they got beaten in the national championship game or something like that. But uh, it's it's different for sure, and they they know I think.